don't know. What's up guys? My name is Kamil, this is Gorilla Project Car. Have you missed me? Because I did miss you. In today's episode, we're doing something really cool and that is working on my golf. We rock at work. And today we're gonna do something really cool that for some of you may seem like a stretch to make a video about it, but we're going to change the oil in my car. And just so you know, I lost my camera battery charger last week and I'm recording on my phone so yeah the quality can be a little bit worse than usual but yeah we got to work with what we have hello beautiful this here is an ABF engine it's a 2 liter 16 valve GTI engine uh, that is making 150 horsepower some say that it can go up to 170 with like ECU mods only. So that's a lot for a 1993 2 liter 16 valve four cylinder engine. And I haven't changed an oil in that engine since I owned the car, which is too long if you ask me. And we're gonna change that today, even though the car is sitting like almost constantly, I want to change the oil because uh, sometimes when I start it, I just want the engine to run with fresh oil. Step one, jack up the car. <laughs> this car has freshly painted subframe and I don't want to scratch it, but I'm gonna figure something out. <laughs> now for your own safety, always put car on jack stands before you go under it. The like hydraulic jack can always fail. You don't wanna be under the car when it does. We need to make a decision now. If we go with this massive, strong jacks with that thing, if we go with more flat choice, but in blue color, or if we take the newest, and look, it's gonna work well with the car. Red subframe with red jack and black something with black swing arms. It's gonna be good. Yeah. That should prevent scratches. I put the cardboard between the jack stand and the subframe to prevent scratches and hopefully paint cracking. Uh, we're gonna see how it's gonna work out. Now that we have jack stands in place, we can lower jack and go to step two, which is dumping old oil. Whoever bolted that like drain plug is a dumbass. Like, why would you do that so tight? I couldn't undo it with a hammer. It's mental. I'm I'm speechless. But oh no, probably have something here. But I managed to do it. So now, since it's draining, we're gonna let it drain a bit and then continue with unbolting the oil filter. This is well where the oil filter is located. In my car, in my case, you have some like an oil filter that you change. In case of my BMW, you have oil filter like a insert that you change. It's a bit easier here, I think. Well, in BMW, it's more accessible. Doesn't matter. We have to change it anyways. I would rather do it from the bottom of the car, but uh, we'll see how I will manage to do it. 
I just hope that the filter is not, not screwed on as tight as the plug was because it's going to be impossible to remove. Bing, bing, bing. Hi, brother. Because whoever bought it. I guess it's gonna be the hard way. So, how to remove a very stubborn oil filter? Take a screwdriver, hammer it through the filter, and you get yourself a easier to unbolt oil filter. Let's do that. But remember to put an oil drain under the filter before you do that because it's gonna be messy. This is my trash and this is my filter. So what I did is I put a screwdriver right here and I hammered it to push it through the other side, just like that. Now that this is on both sides, you can start pulling it in order to un unscrew this filter. If you try to push it, to hammer it only through one side of the w one wall, um, it's gonna break and it's not gonna unbolt. And when it's through both walls, like on the two, on two sides, then it's easy to unbolt. And damn, don't tight your oil filter that much. It doesn't need to be that hard to remove. But it's now unbolted. Yay! So what I have to do is put new oil filter on the engine. Make sure that the drain plug is fully bolt it on and fill the engine with new oil finally damn i made so much mess now before we put new oil filter on the engine first we need to mark um chris fix style he does the mileage i'm gonna do the date today is 17th i guess um 10 2020 day month year poland most important is take a bit of old oil and put it on the seal it's gonna seal better it's gonna be easier to unbolt like we've seen before we need that thing it's gotta be hand tight nothing more no tools, no nothing. Hand tight. I'm super happy that I have this engine. It's my favorite engine of all time. Uh, but VW didn't really think when they put the oil filter in the place they did because uh, it's a mess when you take it off. And yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna have to clean it up. But plug is on oil filter is on we can put fresh oil into the engine now this is dumb as well but we can forgive them After you filled the car with new oil and checked the level, you have to start it and let it run for a second and recheck the level and you're done. So the oil is changed. Okay, that was a quick video on how to change oil in your car. I had some hiccups, but I bet you won't uh, have that much trouble as I have. Not every mechanic that changes oil in your car is a dumbass that just tightens everything way too much. I know you can do it. You probably already have done it to your car yourself, but I just wanted to show it uh, because I have, I never have. Last time I tried to change oil, this happened. And I just wanted a redo. So, draining oil, changing filter, putting new oil in the car. 
checking level, starting car, checking level, done. I hope I helped. If I did, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the episode with a bit of a hiccup. I hope you will subscribe, like, comment, have a great day, stay awesome, stay hydrated, and be safe. Like, just do you. Have fun. Bye.